prima donnas welcome back to the channel i'm belitra and i am the crafty black girl so you guys we have a lot to cover in this video this is part three so there will be a couple more parts to this series but we are on part three so here's everything that i picked up for the skincare basket when we were in dollar tree we're going to use newspaper to build our base as we always do so here's some tissue paper that i bought just for the sake of the video because i did want to do this video as if i was just starting out so i did not use any of my materials that i already had at home except for shrink wrap so just the shrink wrap everything else in this video i purchased just for this video so you guys can see what you can actually do i took the little sticker off of the calendar and now we are backing our calendar just to give it some stability with the skewers and we're just going to turn it back around and this picture frame is also going to go behind the calendar once we finish but first we're going to add skewers to our items and go ahead and place those facial wipes down first i just went ahead and neatly put this hand towel in here this was actually for the home basket but i thought that it would be a little more appropriate for this skincare basket everything that is going inside of this basket is skincare items so i thought it would be perfect to have that towel in there so we are over the nine items that we expected but like i said there was some wiggle room in the budget if you have not watched part two to this video go back and watch part two and then come back and watch part three and you will understand exactly what i'm doing so i only used half of this for one of the baskets so i'm only going to add in half of the price when i get ready to add up how much i spent for this basket i'm not going to use the whole 125 because we use half here and half on the other basket if you remember from the last video there were two baskets per theme and this is one of the things so i bought one um, shred paper for each theme so i just went ahead and secured everything down most things are secured with tape and they have skewers and some of them don't so i went to google on my phone and looked up beauty quotes for mom and this one came up it's not necessarily a beauty quote but i actually loved it so i went in canva and i created a poster and everything that you see on this poster i actually put together because there wasn't anything that matched the theme of the skincare basket and the items that i had in there so i had to make it work if you use canva you can customize pretty much anything you guys so i just took that quote and put it on my poster and just switched up the font a little bit listen if y'all don't have canva get canva because it is a game changer you guys so then i added the words queen at the bottom it just made it a little different just like the little quote that i pulled up on google just so i can have something cute and nice to go in my frame that is going to go in the back and i thought it was appropriate to make everything start with a capital letter looked much better and much more professional to me so that's why i did it that way but however you want to do it you can do it create your own poster and then i thought it looked much better in white it just popped a little bit better and yeah you guys this is canva you can download the app or you can use canva.com and you can do it on the website and you're able to just make whatever you want when it comes to graphics you can make anything posters flyers business cards whatever so then i saved the image and went to the library and here is what we have all right you guys i just left the library and i printed these out these I made on Canva, as you saw. I'm gonna do one this color, one this color. These are for the skincare basket. And then I made this one for my home basket. Yeah, so these will go in the picture frames. So they'll have something cute to go in their frames to go behind the baskets. All right, you guys so all i had to do next is just pop out that back of the frame of course i had to open it up and then i'm just taking my little cutter from my cricut and i'm just cutting and shaving down the sides that printed out white or that did not print the leftover paper i'm just shaving that off and just cutting it down to the image only and then i'm just going to double up this little tape this is just some scotch transparent and i'm going to center this little photo that i printed out as centered as i can with the naked eye 
and then I just taped it down basically so all of the edges I'm taping them down just something cute to go in the frame in case you know I just wanted to look pretty and then if they want to switch this out and use it for an actual photo they can but I just used the regular photo that was in there so we got some white a white border going on and now I'm just going to put it in the back of the basket with our skewers like we normally do and I'm just going to secure the side so that it's not moving forward or backward and you guys this is what the baskets are looking like so far and this is what the bowls are looking like so far I think you guys saw that I bought this ribbon from Dollar Tree this is one spool of ribbon cut in half so I use half for one basket and half the, for the other and then the little tubing I just used a portion of it so here we are breaking down the cost the basket was 125 items in here I end up using 11 items instead of nine items so we're gonna do 11 times 125 of course the shrink wrap I'm gonna say a dollar I buy that in bulk and then the custom picture i say five dollars for going printed it out um and then of course we're gonna have to factor in my time so it probably took me about 30 minutes to put this basket together that's without shopping or anything that's just for me doing and putting together this basket so we got the items which was 1375 and then we have the custom photo which i'm doing for five dollars then we're doing the basket the shrink wrap and the shred and the bow so for the basket it was 125 125 divided by two and we're going to get 62 point something 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 so i just rounded to 63 cents the bow and the shred is 63 cents because I only used half. So then I went ahead and added everything up 1375, $5, and then we got 1875, $1.25. Now we have um, 63 cents plus a dollar, the shrink wrap plus 63 cents for the bow because I only used half. I did not even add up the tape and I forgot to add up the other little bow thing, but we got. 40 times two i'm sorry times two multiply that by two um to get my profit and then my time so we added 30 minutes and i am charging one dollar per minute for my time so it comes up to 74.52 and i'm gonna round it to 75 dollars so the price for this basket is 75 dollars the lowest i will accept for this is 60 dollars and you guys you don't have to do it like this this is the way that i'm pricing and do know that i am in south florida so everything here is much much more expensive than most places but this is the basket i really 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 loved how this came out absolutely beautiful i really really love this basket you guys i was not expecting for it to come out like this but leave me some feedback down below do you guys like it what do you think what do you think what do you think thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it leave it a thumbs up till next time i'll see y'all later stay crafty